sent you ever fire off a text in just silence oh yeah staring at that little notification bubble like hello anyone home the digital void it's brutal and it's crazy how such a small thing can feel so heavy you know right so today we're diving deep into that very feeling mm -hmm. being left on read Ooh, it's a universal experience in the digital age and we're doing it through the lens of a song that absolutely nails those anxieties. Should be interesting. What song are we talking about? Left on Read by Kurt Holes. Okay, I'm familiar. It gets pretty real. Oh, it gets real, real fast. All those emotions just laid bare. Anticipation, doubt, wondering. Yeah, maybe a little heartache thrown in for good measure. <laughs> Definitely. A relatable experience for what? sure. So first line, silence creeps in slow, playing tricks on my mind. Oh. <sighs> I felt that. How many times have we all checked our phones hoping for that notification? Way too many. And then mm. nothing. It's like the silence starts messing with your head. Right. And there's a psychological reason for that. It's called the Zygarnik effect. We tend to remember unfinished tasks more vividly than completed ones. So like the unfinished task in this case is the lack of a reply. Exactly. The anticipation lingers because the expectation hasn't been met. Which makes the next line even more relatable. Yeah. Right? He sings... Heartbeats sink in time to the buzz of your line. Meaning every notification, every buzz, could be them. Yes. And that's where the whole FOMO thing comes in. Fear of missing out. Yep. We're so plugged in, so aware of what everyone else is doing online, that silence from just one person, it can feel deafening. Oh yeah, totally. The silence becomes this huge, empty space that screams for attention. And then there's this line, screenshots of a dream faded in the night. It's like these digital conversations can feel so real, so intense, but also temporary. Fleeting, almost. Yes, like they can disappear in an instant. And that ties into this very human need for validation. The lyrics ask, did you see the message or turn out the light? It's like pleading for some sort of acknowledgement. Because that acknowledgement makes it real. Right. It gives it weight and substance. And I feel like this goes beyond just romantic relationships. Haven't we all craved that validation from, like, a friend? Or even a or coworker. Burger. It's a human thing. And the way we communicate now, it plays such a huge role. Like, we expect instant replies. Anything less creates this weird power dynamic. It's true. Like, the person who takes longer or to respond, intentionally or not, they kind of have the upper hand. Yeah, it's strange how that works. Yeah. But it makes you realize that this left-on-read anxiety, it speaks to something much deeper. About our need to connect to be seen, to be heard. Exactly. In this world that never seems to shut up. Right. And the song doesn't necessarily offer answers, but it does leave us with a really good question to ponder. In this age of constant communication, what does it actually mean to truly connect? It's a good question. Maybe yeah. it means putting down the phone sometimes, you know? We're having those tougher conversations face to face. Something to think about. Definitely. Food for thought. Absolutely. <laughs> Turn up the light